Let's talk about poker chips. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Clayton and I know what you're thinking. Isn't this a board game channel? And yes, it is. But I thought I would do a different style of video for you guys today because you can use poker chips in board games. Plus another hobby of mine is poker. So I thought this would be an awesome video for you guys to check out in case you guys are also either poker fans or looking for some type of component that you can use in board games such as health counters or some type of form of money and I feel like this video could relate to some of you maybe you're interested in picking up a poker set so if that's the case stay tuned because I'll talk about my poker set and why I got these and how I feel about them so first things first uh, if you are looking into getting a good set of poker chips, you need to determine a few things. What do you need the poker chips for? Is it going to be for tournament poker? Is it going to be for cash games? It's going to be for board games because that will influence the decisions of what type of chips you want to get. Now, a little bit of background when it comes to these chips. These are from Straight Poker Supplies here in Canada. This is the Prestige lineup of chips. Uh, these are metal slug chips, so they are very sturdy and very strong. Metal slug chips means they have a metal slug inside them. There's all kinds of different types of poker chips out there. You really want to do your research to decide which chips work for you. In my opinion, there are cheaper plastic options. There's cheaper China clay poker chips as well that can look nice, but they're not very durable. You can easily bend them and break them. These poker chips, because the metal slugs, are very hard to bend and break. Why I went with these kinds of chips is because I do like the design. I like how big the numbers are on the chips. They're super easy to read across the table. And I also really like the fact that there is no dollar symbol on these chips. So you can use them for a multiple of different things, not just poker. You can also use them for a micro cash game, kind of like a five cent, 10 cent kind of game. They are also just a standard 12 gram trip, meaning they're pretty easy to handle and shuffle if you're into doing some poker tricks. And the price point for these chips are actually not overly are that high compared to some other nicer chips out there, such as like ceramic chips or premium compressed clay chips, which those are the nicer chips and they actually have a mold usually compressed in them to tell you the value or some type of design in them. It all is up to your personal preference and budget. Now this lineup of poker chips actually have different values all the way from one to 5,000. I don't have any one value chips or 5,000 chips with me because I just didn't feel like I needed that many poker chips in my set because I mainly play uh, tournament poker and this is more than enough poker chips to supply for 18 players. Uh, which is what I usually go with. I will mention a few things that I don't like about these poker chips, just so you guys are aware if you are considering getting these poker chips, is the labels can come off after long periods of time. Uh, it's bound to happen with almost any poker chip that has labels. Uh, it's just something that's wear and tear, but that's something to keep in mind if that bugs you. Generally with this poker chip set, they are different colors. So if one chip has a label peeled off, it's not really a big deal because people can easily see that the green chips are worth 25. These light blue ones are 50. The black ones are 100 and so on and so forth. Also, when you buy this chip set, if you're looking at the tens and the ones, they are pretty much the same color, just reversed. So they can get mixed up very easily. I seen a form online where somebody was discussing that. Uh, so that's something to consider if you are planning on picking up the one uh, chip value poker chip, it might get mixed up with the tens very easy. So that's something that you probably don't want. Another thing I wanna show you guys real quick is the type of case that you will get if you do choose to purchase a set of poker chips. This is a 300 poker chip set case. It is aluminum. Overall, it does the job, but I do wanna show you guys what you'll get when you uh, buy this. So I'm gonna open it up. You will definitely get uh, three different types of buttons based off of, uh, if you're playing poker, there's always a dealer, small blind, big blind. I never really use these, but they do come with that. You also get uh, two set of poker cards. Honestly, these are very terrible. I really do not like these cards. They're terrible, they're easy to bend uh, and can be easily marked, which is something you don't want in a poker game. Plus, they can be easily like teared. They're not that great of cards. So, I really recommend don't use these cards for poker. They're fine for like, go fish or something, but besides that, they're not that great. 
Uh, you won't get these chips. These are my bounty chips when I do a bounty style uh, poker tournament. These are pretty cool, but you can't get these from straight poker supplies, so you can just kind of ignore those. You also get these red translucent dice. If you want to play some dice games, then there you go, like Yahtzee or something. I don't know. I never really use these. I just keep them in the case. Uh, what I do want to point out, though, is you do get uh, these different rows. Now, this is not the greatest material, in my opinion. They can easily be lifted out. Here, I can show you. So, if you're not careful, they, it kind of just falls apart like that. And then you can get your chips moving around. Um, I do my best not to touch it because, again, it just kind of falls apart and it's very annoying to put back together. But I did want to show you guys that if you pick up an aluminum poker case, this is what you would get. Not something that's that great. So what I recommend instead of picking up a case like this is I recommend picking up these acrylic plastic racks. Each row holds about 20 poker chips, meaning you can hold 100 in each rack. And that could be a storage solution. You can put this on the shelf, stack them like so. And just put that on the shelf and then you're good to go or put it in a plastic case. That works as well. There's options on the website. It's really just up to you how you want to store your poker chips. I will also like to mention that I really do enjoy Straight Poker Supplies website. They make it very easy to customize your order. You can choose how many poker chips you want. Just keep in mind that when you order, they come in stacks of 25. So overall, am I happy with these poker chips? Well, overall, I'm very happy with my purchase. I've had these poker chips for five years, no damage to them. They're very easy to read on the table, very durable, super satisfied with these poker chips. If you play poker, let me know in the comment section down below, or if you wanna see more poker related videos, maybe how I host my poker tournaments and my starting stack. Let me know in the comment section down below. If not, I'll catch you guys in the next board game video. Take care. Bye.